I'm, I'm wondering, because I need a netbook for education, I should be able to... Um, you need a what for education? What? You need a what for education? Netbook. It's like a smaller kind of laptop. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, okay. Right. And um, according to the Bible, there was a woman who needed uh, rent money and food for her kids, and I think Abraham went to her and uh, told her to pray, and then she had, like, infinite oil and little jar, which she used to make food and sell for rent. Okay. So I'm thinking uh -huh. if uh, if someone can get infinite fossil fuel in a pot of holding, <laughs> it should be nothing to get me a $300 net book. There you go. There you, you go. Would think, Have you right? tried praying? Yes. <laughs> Did it work? No. <laughs> huh. I gave it yet another shot, even though I'm an atheist and decided to say, okay, Jesus, <laughs> let's give this another try. I, no. think, I think you're praying too specifically. <laughs> if, you, if you get a lot it's vaguer obviously your fault. and say, yeah. I would like something <laughs> to happen, you might find $10 in the street here and there that you could credit to God. And then yeah, that that if you wait long there. enough, then you'll have enough money or the thing will be obsolete and you won't need it anymore. Right. Could I give like, uh, like, could I like pick multiple brands and websites to order from? Like, yeah, just pick any one of these, God, because you know, you can't decide. <laughs> Uh, you know, somebody ought to look into whether that jar of infinite oil is still around. Because, oh, that'd be nice. That'd you know, be useful. That's right. Actually. If it's infinite, it, it should still be around. It seems to me that you could devise some kind of machine that could extract the oil from that stuff on that'd a regular so basis. That'd be so useful for a current it American would, oil society. Yeah, because it would solve the energy crisis. Okay. But the oil was probably something like olive oil, not. Yeah. But, but, well, but you can still even burn it. So I mean, you can yeah, make biodiesel ethanol. out of olive oil, there right? Go. There you go. I mean, the problem with biodiesel is it costs more to grow it than, uh, in yeah, energy terms infinite. than it, than the energy you actually get out of it. But if you had even an infinite jar of olive oil, that would really right. be. And it could be a small infinite bar. <laughs> you should get to the president about this immediately. <laughs> so is that all? Great idea. Uh, oh, and another thing, before I forget, not quite on subject, I was talking to uh, what turned out to be a Muslim on YouTube, but he didn't really specify he was defending Christianity because apparently the Bible says preaches nothing but good and love, and uh, apparently he never read Deuteronomy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of a lot of scary stuff in there if you oh, poke yeah. around. That's, that's that's in fact, uh, I'd like to plug a blog, which is kafirgirl.blogspot.com. Uh, it's an ex-Muslim who goes through and reads the Quran and just points out all the crazy stuff in it. Oh, I had to find that then, yeah. Yeah, that's K-A-F-I-R. All right. Um, that's, uh, one more funny thing is whenever I'm reading the Bible in public, just picking it apart using the Bible itself, like, they'll say, God is everywhere, and then he'll compact down into a person and wrestle someone in the very next sentence. <laughs> yeah. and, like, and then someone talks to me, like, is that strengthening your faith? Like, no, I'm an atheist. And they're like, well, why not? I'm like, I point out something in the Bible. Like, you're bashing the Bible. I'm like, no, I'm reading the Bible. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> if yeah, I wanted to bash when, it, you'd when, find out. When people get cornered, they often play the persecution card. Of, oh, yeah. Right. Or the, well, you better hope you're right. Or, right, That's which is kind of a veiled threat sort of thing, yes. right?